Creative Crambo back with another one. Yeah, in this video I'm going to show you how I paint a fake leather headboard. It's all looking a bit discoloured over time and with the light and stuff like that. It's all looking a bit discoloured all the way through there. I'm going to repaint the headboard also as well. The frame around there is fake leather as well. I'm going to be painting that. That's the paint I'm going to be using. And that's the French sheet trim paint, whiter than white. What I will have to do first is give this a nice clean off. And for that, I'll use some sugar soap. I'll clean all the headboard off there, clean all the sides of the bed frame through there. Also as well, I've got some fake diamonds on there, so we need to cover those up before I paint. Also as well, I'll clean it down and then give it a nice light rub down as well. And for that, I'm going to be using some 320 grit sandpaper. That's super fine sandpaper. Clean down, rub down, ready for paint. Okay, so all I've done here is um, use this masking tape to go over the false diamonds here. And what I need to do now is just cut round that diamond like that. Nice and steady. Nice sharp blade as well going round. Just like that. And then all I'll do is just take that away. And that diamond now. It's all covered up for when I paint. I'll do the same on these ones and that'll be absolutely perfect. No paint getting on them. Great job. All the prep work done now. My next job now is to paint up the side of the bed frame there. Work my way around, do the other side, then I'll do the headboard. Okay, so I'm gonna get the first coat on the side of the bed frame here. Now just remember to mix up your paint. Quite important that as well. I'm going to be using a, a two inch brush to do the sides of the frame there here. Also as well I've got a dust sheet down there so there's no drips going on the floor. I'm just going to work my way along with the paint and get the first coat on. Now more than likely this is going to need two coats. But I'll get the first one on, have a look at it, and then see how we go. But straight away, the whiter than white paint, it absolutely does look absolutely whiter than white. Already impressed with that. 
just going to work my way along. I'm just going through that way. I've got to do the back there, the front um, of the bed frame, then the other side. Then what I'll do is do the headboard. It's really nice paint to work with as well. The French sheet trim paint, self-leveling, self-sealing. Makes a great job. Yeah, so I'll just work my way through. Yeah, I'll paint the sides there, done the front, done the other side, with the brush, the two inch brush. I've let that dry, but on closer inspection, I'm not really happy with it. It's got a lot of brush marks in there. It's really hard to see with the camera, but to the naked eye, there's a lot of brush marks in here. So I'm not happy with that. For the headboard, I'm going to change over to a roller, that's a gloss roller as well. I'll have to rub this down again and then I'll try again with the roller, see how that comes out. But I think if I do the headboard as well now with the brush, there's going to be a load of brush marks in there which I don't want. So definitely going to try the roller. I'll give it one coat, see how it looks. And more than likely, I'll need that second coat as well. Okay, so I've just gone halfway for now. Just want to show you the difference there in the, from the old to the new, whiter than white. Big difference there, must admit. Also as well, definitely going to use the roller on the rest of the job. That's doing a great job, that roller. The brush was just leaving brush marks in there. Uh, wasn't happy with it. Definitely going to go with the roller. That's for gloss as well, that roller. But that's doing a great job. But yeah, big difference there on the, on the different colours. The whiter than white, and that's the old colour there, the faded headboard. What well plays with that? Yeah, so I've got one coat on the front of the headboard and the back of the headboard. I did that as well, even though it's not seen. Still do the back. It's all looking pretty good now. Drying time is about half an hour to 45 minutes, which is really quick. I've also rubbed these down as well, again. The frame all the way around. I've rubbed them down and I've given them a second coat with the roller. Much better job there with the roller going through. Like I said, there was loads of brush marks in here and, and stuff like that, so weren't happy the first time round. Pleased with that now though. What I will have to do is rub down this headboard again. I'll give that a light rub off. Second coat on the back as well. And to be fair, I think two coats will do the job.
Yeah, so now all the paint's dried. I can take off this mask and tape, I pull up the diamonds there. I'll just try and find an edge there. Oh, she's coming off already. Okay, that's not too bad. I can just give that a little bit of a clean off as well. Just in case there's a little bit of paint on there. But that's looking pretty good. I'll also do the rest over there on the headboard. Get them done. There's a few left there to do as well. That's not bad. Yeah, well pleased with the final results there. Looking really good. All the mask can tape off those diamonds. It took a little while. You will get paint on them things as well, but you've just got to get the paint off at the end. It's not a problem, quite an easy job. But well pleased with the results there. Must admit the bed now looks better than when I first bought it. It's all in the preparation as well when you're doing the painting. Get your preparation right. I'll give this two coats as well. I'll rub down in between coats. Great results. All nicely finished there. I did the back as well, you can't see that, but I did do that. So yeah, well pleased with the results there. I used the friend cheek uh, trim paint for this, whiter than white. It is great paint to work with too. All nicely finished down there on the edges there. I did start with the brush, the two inch brush, Was, wasn't happy with that. I reverted to the roller and the roller got the best results. All I've got to do now is get the mattress back, put the covers on. I'll get you a last little uh, clip of that as well, but well pleased with that. Yeah, must have made well pleased with the final finish. Absolutely fantastic. Headboard there looking beautiful. All nice. And the sides. Lovely job. There you go, transform your headboard, your bed, whatever you want to do. I use the French sheet whiter than white. Looking really nice down there as well. All nicely finished. That's fake leather. But with the right paint, the right preparation, you can get fantastic results. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one.